here. Welcome back to the RLD video tutorial series. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about object to object snapping. Uh, this is an incredibly powerful feature. Uh, if you're using prefabs, uh, modular prefabs, then uh, you definitely have to learn how to use it. Uh, besides, it's incredibly easy to use and it gets uh, really fast results. So I have here a, um, I'm using some dungeon assets. Um, I have a really basic floor setup and uh, two arch objects. <clears throat> and uh, what I want to do is I want to extend this. I want to use these arg objects to build like sort of a, like a rectangle on, on this floor, right? So um, the first thing I want to do is I want to go in that direction. I'm going to select this arc object right here. I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And now I want to enter object to object snap mode. In order to do that, I have to I have to press the S key on the keyboard. Uh, in order to exit object to object snap mode, you can, you can press S again, or uh, you can just left click. Okay, so now let's press S to enter snap mode, and I can just put it right over there. There you go. Uh, now I'm going to select two of these guys, press Ctrl D to duplicate, and then just press S and just snap to the correct place, to the right place. And there you go. You already have this side taken care of. Uh, let's take now. Let's go uh, in that direction a little bit. I'm just going to use one object. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And now uh, you can see this object is not rotated accordingly. So we can press Y on the keyboard to rotate it. And there you go. And actually, let's just place one more. Okay. Now we need a corner piece. So I'm going to take this corner right here. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. S to snap. Press Y to rotate. And there you have it. And now we can just take all four of these guys, press Ctrl D, S to snap, and there you go. Yeah, so we can uh, we could actually uh, finish, uh, you know, we, we could actually close this off, but I'm not going to do that because I've already shown you what I wanted to show. Uh, let's actually start playing around with a bunch of different objects. So I have a railing object right here. This will actually allow me to show you a special uh, scenario that you can encounter. So let's just say I want to place this railing object uh, somewhere near the edge of the floor, right? But no matter how hard, no matter how hard I try, you can see this doesn't really work. It's kind of it kind of seems near the edge, but not exactly at the edge where I want it to. Uh, I'm not gonna go into why this happens. Uh, it's not a bug. It's uh, it has to do with the fact that uh, this is how the algorithm works. However, uh, what you can do in this case, uh, you can you can hold down the shift key and that will inform the plugin uh, that you need a little bit more control over how this object is snapped, right? So if I hold down the shift key and move the mouse, you can see that we can actually uh, snap this where it needs to be. Now, in some situations, no matter how hard you try, object to object snapping will not work, right? So there's there's like a huge amount of meshes out there uh, with uh, probably some of them have like really complicated geometry and sometimes object to object snapping will fail no matter what you do. In that case, uh, what you can do is you can you, you can uh, just make sure you have the move gizmo active and then just use vertex snapping uh, to, to snap the object where you want it to. Yeah. So in order to use vertex snapping, you have to hold down the V key on the keyboard and then find the vertex, then hold down the left mouse button and just snap it, snap it where you want it to right here in this, in this case. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to use this round railing. I'm going to select it. Uh, by the way, you've seen me rotating objects, rotating objects uh, works. Uh, you, you don't have to be in object to object snap mode. You can also rotate them uh, when you, when you just have objects selected, right? So if I press the Y key on the keyboard, we can rotate it like that. Uh, so X rotates around the X axis, Z around the Z axis and Y around the Y axis. Okay, so I'm just, now I'm gonna enter a uh, snap mode by pressing S on the keyboard. I'm gonna snap it, I'm gonna snap it right here. Well, I think uh, this looks good enough, I think. Now let's just take uh, this guy and snap it right over here. There you go. Press S again and snap. Now there is a faster way, like for example, right now, if we wanted to go in this, if we wanted to go in this direction with the railing objects, there is a faster way to do that using the object extrude gizmo, uh, which is another powerful tool. But for now, let's just, uh, let's just stick to um, um, object to object snapping. Okay. Uh, now let's just place uh, a bunch of walls. I'm gonna take this wall prefab and I'm just gonna snap it right here. 
there you go take this one hmm okay well see if this is oh okay ah uh, uh, actually this is okay there you go I uh, I would I didn't have it rotated accordingly so I guess we can take two more of these. Well, suppose this one overlaps with uh, the railing. Let's just there you go. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, as I said, this is a really powerful feature um, and um, definitely just learn how to uh, play around with it. Um, really useful for uh, modular modular prefabs and um, yeah I, I hope you're, you're gonna be able to take advantage of it okay thank you very much for watching bye bye